in addition to the podcast, you also, I mentioned this at the outset, I said that you're co-founder and principal data scientist of the popular Bayesian stats modeling platform, PyMC. So like many things in data science, it's uppercase P, lowercase Y for Python. Uh, what's the MC, PyMC, one word? M and the C are capitalized. Yeah. So uh, it's very confusing because it stands for a Python and then MC is Monte Carlo. Um, so I understand, <laughs> but why Monte Carlo? Um, it's because it comes from Markov chain Monte Carlo. So actually it should be pi MCMC or pi MC squared, which is what I'm saying since the beginning, but anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's actually pi MC squared. Um, so be, for Markov chain Monte Carlo and Markov chain Monte Carlo is one of the main ways there are other algorithms now, um, new ones, but like the blockbuster algorithm to run uh, Bayesian models is to use MCMC. Yeah, so in the same way that stochastic gradient descent is like the de facto standard for finding yeah. your model weights in machine learning, Markov chain Monte Carlo is kind of the standard way of doing it with a Bayesian network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so now there are newer versions, uh, more efficient versions. That's that's basically the, the name of the game, right? Making the efficient, the algorithm more and more efficient. Uh, but the, the first algorithm dates back, I think it was actually invented during the um, uh, Project Manhattan. So during the world, during World War II. Um, Game of the day. Yeah. And uh, lots of physicists, actually, um, statistical physics is, um, is a field that's contributed a lot to, uh, to MCMC. Uh, and so, yeah, like phys physicists um, who came to the field of statistics and trying to make the algorithms more efficient for their models. And uh, yeah, so they by, they have contributed a lot, like the field of physics has contributed a lot of big names and people to to great leaps into the um, realm of more efficient algorithms. And so I don't know who your audience is, and, but that, that, that may sound boring, you know, yeah, like the algorithm, it's like the workhorse, you know, uh, but it's extremely powerful and that's, also, one of the main reasons why Bayesian statistics are increasing in popularity lately, because I'm going to argue that it's always been the best framework to do statistics, that to do science, but it was hard to do with pen and paper, because the problem is that you have a huge nasty um, integral on the numerator, uh, on the denominator, sorry, and this integral is not computable by pen and paper. So for a long, long time, Bayesian statistics combined two features, you know, like uh, campaigns, uh, PR campaigns, Bayesian statistics was relegated to the margins because it was just super hard to do. Uh, and so for other problems other than very trivial ones, it was not very applicable. But now with the advent of personal computing, you have these incredible algorithms like, so now most of the time it's HMC, Hamiltonian Monte Carlo. That's what we use under the hood uh, with PyMC. But if you use Stan, if you use NumPyro, it's, it's the same. Um, and thanks to these algorithms, now we can make extremely powerful models uh, because we can approximate the posterior distributions thanks to, um, well, computers, uh, computing powers, uh, computing power. Like a computer is, is, is very good at computing. I think that's why it's called that. <laughs> yes. And so that reminds me of deep learning. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a similar kind of thing where the, the applications we have today, like your chat GPT or whatever your favorite large language model is, these amazing video generation like Sora, all of this is happening thanks to deep learning, which is an approach we've had since the 50s, certainly not mm -hmm. as old as Bayesian statistics, but similarly, it has been able to take off with much larger data sets and much more compute. Yeah, 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 very good point. And I think that's even more the point in deep learning, yeah, for sure, because Bayesian stats doesn't need the, the scale, but the way we're doing deep learning for now def definitely the, need the scale. Yeah. yeah, yeah, scale of data. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah, sorry. And, yeah, this case, because there are two scales, data and, and computing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and for like model parameters. And yeah. so that has actually, I mean, tying back to something you said near the beginning of this episode, 
is that actually one of the advantages of Bayesian statistics is that you can do it with very few data. Yeah. Uh, maybe fewer data than with a frequentist approach or machine learning approach. Yeah. Because you can bake in your prior assumptions and those prior assumptions give some kind of structure, some kind of framework for your data yeah. to make an impact through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, completely.